Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Marissa Ramirez and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna be recreating a look that I did in 2017, okay? You already know 2017 was a different time than this time, all right? But yeah, so in 2017, I did my makeup way different than I do it now, apparently, obviously. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna be posting a video throughout the video and everything to show you guys what I'm gonna do different and whatnot. Y'all already know how this goes, I'm pretty sure. Y'all have seen videos like this before. Um, so yeah, this is the look that I recreated, and I honestly have to say, I freaking love it. Okay, I love it. All right, it's really cute. Um, so yeah, if you guys would like to see how I recreated this look and everything like that, then go ahead and just please continue to watch. All right, so let me just roll up my sleeves and everything. I hope you guys like my new setup. I had to move out of my old original makeup room because my little sister moved in with us and all that. So she actually took over my makeup room and that's her room now. So my makeup room is actually in my dining room area. Um, but y'all will see that in the vlog that I'm going to be posting next week. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that, my first vlog. Really excited about it. But, and the picture that I'm going off of, which is right here, yes, yes, that is how I used to look, okay? That is how I used to do my makeup and everything. You see how airbrushed I was? Who was I? Talk about learning how to use Facetune. I used to go in on the smoother, okay? In. You couldn't even see a pore, nothing, all right? So yeah, um, in that picture, as y'all can tell, my eyebrows, are so 2016 vibes, okay? Um, that's not how I do my eyebrows anymore. Back then, I used to use the ABH Dip Brow in like dark brown. I don't even remember what color it was, but that is what I used to use. Nowadays, I go in with this Patrick Ta Major Brow in Clear, and this is almost just like a brow gel or like a brow soap or whatever. I bought this. And what I do is I actually take water, okay, this is water in here, not, not it's leave-in conditioner, it's water. I take that and I just kind of run my spoolie in there, just like that. And I just run it through my eyebrows. And I like my eyebrows to look really fluffy. Y'all, when I say I like them fluffy, I really do. And my little brother came at me the other day and he was like, ooh, you're trying to be like some girl named Summer Ray." Sis, I don't know who that is, but when I was like, I don't know who that is, but okay. I was like, no, I'm just like into the whole fluffy brow look nowadays. I really do like my eyebrows looking really natural and just super, I don't know, just natural. I just love the natural look nowadays. I don't really like everything looking so caked up or anything like that and that's just me but now i'm gonna take my abh brow powder um i love using brow pencils too but i just feel like this will give you the more more of a natural looking eyebrow and i take the brush um, that it comes with this is the abh 7b brush and i'll only use the dark side this is the chocolate brow powder but i use this side I mean, I will go in with the other side, but it just depends on how I feel that day. But yeah. Um, what I do is I just go in and I fill in the more sparser areas. So like y'all can see that right here is just really sparse and not really filled in that much. And I just like to fill that in. This is what I do every single time I do my eyebrows now. I don't really go ham like thoroughly in my eyebrows or anything. It's just, I don't really like the look of it, of a harsh brow. But on some people it really does, it looks really good. I like it a lot. So I'll just fill in the tail because y'all can, as y'all can tell, like I don't really have um, much of a tail right there. Like I used to pluck my eyebrows back, back in the day, 
pretty sure y'all can tell from the picture. I literally had like the most the most arches brow ever. And I'll go in in the front with whatever's left on the brush and I'll just kind of fill in where it needs to be filled. I don't know if y'all can tell, I'm a little bit like bald in that area. And that's because um, I have a chicken, I used to have, when I had chicken pots, I got a scar from it. So my hair doesn't grow right there. I'll just take whatever is on the brush. Just like that. And then I'll also go like right here. Cause I don't really grow hair right there either. Okay, so for the exciting part, I just recently purchased the Makeup by Mario palette. Um, this one is in the Master Metallics. This was $48, okay? I wanted to get this one and I also wanted to get the neutral one, like the one with all the browns and everything because that is just a vibe for me. But I didn't want to get that one and this one because I'm cheap, okay? It's expensive, very expensive. But first of all, I love, love this whole look right here, okay? It's just so sleek and simple. I just like it. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I like it. And of course, I got the metallic one. Now y'all, y'all know I personally do not like shimmer shadows, okay? I don't like it. I don't know why. But when I seen this, I had to get it um and recently i've been kind of playing with more shimmery eyeshadows and everything or even throwing on highlight and stuff so yeah I'm, I'm going to be using this palette and i'm going to be using this green right here i don't know if my camera is picking it up well enough um it kind of looks like a brownish shade on camera but it's actually green hopefully that's picking up right all right, so I think I'm just going to go in with the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. Um, I know I always use this, but it's really a good palette, you know, so I'm just going to go in with it. Um, first, though, I'm going to go in with Fuego. And I am going to be putting that in the crease because I honestly don't even know what kind of eyeshadow i was using in that one and i think it was an abh eyeshadow but then i could be wrong but in that photo y'all can see that i kind of just kept it in the crease like the actual fold of the eye and i don't really do that anymore i'll go in with a fluffy brush like this but i'll also blend it out and I'll only take a little bit at a time. See, back then when I did eye looks, I tried my hardest. Like, I honestly spent at least 50 minutes doing my eyeshadow, okay? And nowadays, I really don't. I just kind of go in with whatever I feel like going in with that day. And I will just kind of not really throw it on, but just throw it on. I mean, I don't really care if it's super precise or anything. I don't really think that eyeshadow looks are supposed to be very precise. And that's just my opinion. But yeah. Okay, so now for the orange, I'm gonna go in with Caliente, Caliente, on this Morphe M433 brush, my favorite brush to use for the crease color. And I'm gonna go directly into the crease with this one and then I'll slowly start smoking it out I like to build the color up first and then smoke it out and y'all I haven't used an orange like this in, whew, in forever okay like I honestly don't know who I am right now I'll just keep going in. So I'm gonna put that color fuego right in the inner part. 
I know in the look that I did, I actually, if I can remember, I recorded that look, okay? And I actually put all of the orange all the way into the inner part. And I had a lot of eyelid space because my eyebrows were so arched. Um, so this time I'm going to keep the wiggle a little bit more in the crease. Not so much super high or anything. And so now for the fun part, okay, for the fun part. I used to cut the crease and everything for everything. Um, I may need to this time because I'm going to try to go going in with this just by itself. And I know that they have the little mixing drops or whatever. Uh, Makeup by Mario has the little mixing drops that you put and then put on the eyelid and stuff. But I did not get that. So I'm just going to try going in with this color by itself. And it's actually working, so kind of excited about that. But I'm gonna go in with my finger, and I always, I've always done um, metallics with the finger. And I'm not gonna take it all the way in the inner corner. Just gonna keep on packing it on, and it's actually going on pretty well. So I'm kind of amazed by this at this point. Okay, so in that look, I did not have any type of eyeliner on, um, which I don't know why I didn't have any type of eyeliner on, but in this one, I'm going to be doing an eyeliner because I just feel like it's not going to be complete without having it on. So I'm going to go into this e.l.f. Retro Paradise and I'm going to pick up the shade Cacao or Cocoa. I'm, I'm going to call it Cacao though. And I'm going to smudge that on the lash line. Okay, just because this look will not be a look without doing this. And I'm going to be actually dragging it out like into an actual wing liner because I always do. So now I'm going to go back in with the same palette and I don't really know what shades I want to take for the inner corner and I also want to pop a shade on the eyelid itself um, I'm going to be taking this gold right here and I believe it's called metallic swan and I'm just going to be placing that like in the center of the eyelid so I want to give it a little bit more dimension just like that just like that see how cute that came out like real cute okay real cute all right and then now i'm going to go in with this shade right here which is metallics eight and then i'm going to take metallics one also both of them i'm going to pop that right in the inner crease inner crease the inner tear duct okay And instead of like really going in with it, I'm going to just take it right here. And then I'll go ahead and I'll drag it up with this brush and I'll blend it into that part there. Just like that. Okay, you guys. So I decided that I'm going to show you what I use for lashes and everything since I don't use the huge voluminous lashes that I used to use back in 2017 anymore. Um, I'm going to show you guys these right here. I use these Ardell Foaming Lashes in the style 812, right? Yeah. And like I said in like all my videos, to be honest, what I do is I just take one of the lashes and here it is right here. One of the lashes. And what I'll do is I will literally cut the lash right in half, okay? Right in half. 
that is basically what I do. So now as you can see that this eyelash is a little bit longer on the outer part and shorter on the inner part right here. And I'll use this eyelash for this eye and then the other eyelash for this eye. That's basically all that I do. Okay, so now on to face. Back then I do not think that I primed or anything, um, but I am going to prime today. And so like usual, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Retro Paradise Primer Glow Oil. And I'm only going to take about three drops. Because I have been having a whole bunch of breakouts. And I'm on some new skincare. I'm not sure if maybe I'm over exfoliating or something. But I am going to try not to exfoliate um, today. So hopefully that works out and my skin goes back to normal because I have a lot of breakouts right here and on my forehead once again but it's not the same breakouts that I usually always get so and then next I used to go in with the NARS luminous radiant foundation it's it's something different I know that it was full coverage um, but nowadays, you already know, I use my Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. I'm not a full coverage queen, but I am. Like when I do my makeup, my makeup is cute. So, yeah. I'll go ahead and just put that everywhere. And that's literally just one pump. So, it's actually really good for one pump. Y'all, I'm really excited. I am going to be getting a husky puppy for my son. And he kind of knows already because I um, asked him like what kind of dog he wanted and all that type of stuff. So he knows that he's gonna get it. And he knows it's gonna be for Christmas and everything like that. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna be like, well, he is very excited about it. So yeah. All right, so I just put the foundation on real quick. I'm gonna go in with two concealers. Um, back then, I don't know what I used to use. I think I was using the Tarte concealer, um, which was a staple in everybody's makeup. But for today, I'm going to be using the Make Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. And the Tarte one was hella full coverage. Um, and this one is pretty full coverage also. So it's basically almost the same thing. It's just that the Tarte one, I feel like it was just way too full coverage. You know what I mean? And I used to put so much. Like, I used to put my concealer so... For example, this is how I used to do it. I'm going to show you on one side of my face. I used to go all the way, you guys. All the way. That is how I used to do my concealer versus how I do my concealer now, okay? I guess like whenever you are, I don't know, growing through the years and everything like that, you learn a lot of new techniques and stuff. And I've just learned a lot of new techniques and I've been really enjoying them and everything. I just like my skin very natural looking. And I remember when I used to do my makeup, I just wanted everybody to just look at me and just see how I did my makeup and compliment me and all that type of stuff. Nowadays, I see so many, you know, beautiful girls and everything like that just doing their makeup and I'm just like, damn. Now their makeup is real cute, you know? Like, just real cute. Now I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender after I let my concealer sit for a little bit. And I'm going to just blend it out exactly where it's at. And then I'm going to go ahead and... And back then, when I used to do this, I used to carve out my wing liner and stuff too. Or like where I wanted my eyeshadow to stop and stuff. I don't really do that anymore. Um, I don't really like the look of it. Me and Maya, I don't really do that anymore. I don't like the look of it. Like that's literally my answer for everything. And then I'll go in and I'll blend it out. And that's why I like using a full coverage concealer. Just because with the natural 
dewy foundation and everything it's just so natural that you can literally just see your skin your real skin poking through which i personally like and then with the full coverage concealer you can cover up anything that you don't really want to be seen but moving on to the next um so back then i used to cream contour everything and i used the anastasia beverly hills cream contour palette i don't have that anymore but actually i do it's at my grandma's house and it's old okay it's old um and i don't cream contour at all anymore i used to do the whole shebang forehead face every single thing my neck everything and i literally just stopped doing that a few months ago like i don't do that anymore so what i do now is i just i contour my nose that's it and i use my dirty brush um that i contour with because it's just good for me <laughs> and i'll go in and make some lines right there Just like so, and I'll drag them all the way down too. Okay, so now that I've cream contoured the nose and everything, I'm going to go ahead and just blend it all out. And I use this brush that I don't know where the hell I got it from, but I've been having this brush since maybe 2014. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Long time. And I'll just blend out everything. All right, so now going in with my fave, I am going in with the Laura Mercier powder. I don't know what powder I used back then. Um, I kind of feel like I used the Kat Von D powder, um, but the thing is, is that the Kat Von D powder does have shimmer in it, or at least I feel like it has shimmer in it. I know a lot of people loved that powder back then. Um, it was never for me. And I also used the Makeup Forever HD powder, and girl, talk about flashing back. I had so much flashback with that powder and I'm so happy that I actually um, started purchasing this powder right here. So I've, I've literally purchased the Laura Mercier powder like seven times now and it really does last you a while too so it's something that I really do like and I also got the little puff here too and I like the puff. I have a lot of scars on my forehead, so if y'all see those, I'm sorry. It's just, I keep on picking at my skin. And I can't stop. And I like using this, I just like setting it. I am going to be going in with my Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo Matte and Shimmer, and this one is in the shade Warm Honey. All right. And other than the Patrick Ta, it's either this or my Milani one. And I love this because it has this shimmer side and it's good, okay? Good. But I'm going to go in with the same brush I use for blush all the time. And this is very pigmented. And I'm going to go in with that on the Morphe M405. And what I do is I just take that and I kind of just pounce it in on the cheeks. This one's a little bit darker than my Patrick Ta, but this is really much more natural than the Patrick Ta. Um, the Patrick Ta blush is a little bit more on the pinker side, and this one kind of just looks like you're flushed in a way, like you just kind of got hot all of a sudden. Yeah. And I don't know, I just like it, it's really natural. Um, for highlights, but I'm really gonna go in with highlight, okay? I'm gonna go in with. Where is my. I guess I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna go in with this side right here, which is the shimmer side on this A23 ABH brush. And I'm going to just place that on the apples just for a little bit of a shine. And I love this okay i love this i had to stop using this for so long just because it's like i just couldn't put it down i cannot but this is such a good blush if you're my skin tone or even or even like a few shades longer. it's such a good blush okay such a good blush okay so my grandma just came over here 
she's she's a trip but i honestly she's freaking awesome so she really is better than your grandma i'm just playing i'm just playing but still i'm just going to contour my nose not really contour my nose but just go over it with um some bronzer and this is the hula this is what i use the hula for now so today i'm just going to go in with this artist couture diamond glow powder in the shade gold digger um and like i said i'm not really into highlighting but i'm just going to take a little bit of this just because the other day i put it on and it was just so cute so today I'm going to go ahead and just put it on just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, just a tiny little bit because mm -mm, no. Oh, God. Okay, so back then I used to use matte liquid lipsticks. I don't use matte liquid lipsticks anymore. It's just not a vibe for me. Now what I like using is just regular lipsticks. Um, this happens to be one of my favorites. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink Lipstick and I love this lipstick it's just super nude um ooh, there's a lot of stuff on it it's just super nude she's a very pretty pinky nude lipstick i don't know if you can see right there oh people be driving my heart real fast oh, Jesus. but i just love using this it's so nude and it's pink you know what i mean so you kind of look it looks natural on the lips as to um, using like super I don't know what the hell was going on with that but yeah this is the lips now I recently when I went to Sephora the other day I seen this cute little gloss bomb set my other one is in my wallet which is like a taffy pink color but I have these shades right here and they are so freaking cute um back then i did not use lip gloss i hated lip gloss i thought lip gloss was just so i didn't like it but to be honest i don't think i've ever liked lip gloss um nowadays i love lip gloss lip gloss is mm, it's my thing okay i'm gonna go in with this um fancy beauty gloss mom in the shade cake shake and i mean it might be a small set but i rarely ever do my makeup so these will last me a long time but if i like one of them it's gonna be gone okay you guys so here is the finished look let's pretend that i have on gold hoop earrings okay my gold hoop earrings are in my little sister's restroom and i don't feel like walking all the way over there so yeah um here's the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i did with recreating my 2017 look and all that um this is just this is my type of vibe honestly i think i'm really getting into just doing my makeup and you know doing shimmer and everything like that and stepping out of my comfort zone and stuff so yeah here is the finished look she came out really cute almost the same exact hair that i had in the video and everything i mean in the video in the look in the picture you get me okay you get me so yeah here it is and i'm going to try to like pose the way that the actual picture is and why is it whenever someone does their makeup your voice kind of changes like you're a whole other person is it just me or do y'all do that too I don't lie either because i know i do it I do but yeah here it is so freaking cute okay so cute so yeah if you guys like this video and enjoyed watching me recreate it and everything like that then go ahead and leave me a like don't forget to subscribe down below the little red button share my video with your friends and everything and yeah i will see you guys on my next video um also i'm gonna be vlogging and stuff so stay tuned for that because i'm really excited about that to be honest not really excited about going out into town and watching everybody look at me because i live in a small town like everybody knows everybody okay all right so yeah i will see you guys on my next one bye